How to clone yourself in photos using Sapsi. Alright, so starting off, first we're gonna need to take three pictures because we're gonna be using three clones and it's gotta be in the same spot without moving the camera. I planted my tripod right here and I'm gonna be taking the photos right there. I'm gonna be standing over there. Yeah, I got the three photos. I just put a 10 second timer on my phone and I just took three shots because three seems like a good number of clones. Okay, so you wanna press this big plus icon up in front of the bikes, all photos, grab the first photo you took. Now you wanna go on tools, double exposure at the bottom, hit this image with the plus icon, all photos, and then you wanna select your second photo. See this drop icon at the bottom, hit that, turn the opacity all the way up, hit the check mark, and then, you want to press this uh, two layers with a arrow going over it, that icon, and then you want to hit view edits, go on double exposure, hit that paintbrush, and then make sure the double exposure is all the way up to 100, and then you want to just paint over your your, your person, your clone. Um, try to get some of the, uh, since the lighting is weird, I'm going to try to get out some of the, what do you call it? like some of the surrounding things of the, the clone because the lighting is a little weird. There, and then you hit the check mark, and there, bam, you got two clones already. So now, since it's it's the same process, I just wanna hit the double exposure again, press the image with the plus icon, and then grab my third photo, put the opacity all the way up. When you're doing this, you don't wanna move your image at all because if you realign it slightly, it's gonna like make the image, make the clone effect not work. So just don't touch the image, just turn the opacity all the way up and hit the check mark. Do the same view edits. Go on double exposure, paint over. And don't do it. I did. I put these two clones really close to each other, so they're kind of overlapping. That makes the effect not as like as good because I'm gonna have to cut off a little bit of it. Like a little bit of my foot or something. Because <laughs> see now I have to be really accurate with this because I, I don't want to cut off my person. Like, but then I also don't want to cut off the clone right beside it, so I have to be really mindful and then you hit the check mark once again and there you go that's how you get three clones in one photo okay so I got a shout out um Kenneth Wayne this guy he made the amazing snapsy tutorial on how to like clone yourself and stuff so uh if y'all got a second go check him out like his video was great on how to clone yourself and uh so yeah um if this tutorial is somewhat similar to his that's why so uh, I'll link his video down in the description you should go check it out this is actually a really simple tutorial but it's, it's, you can get some really cool effects like oh my god I didn't know you could do this if y'all like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in the next one see ya <sighs>